Hello my dear friends. I hope you are all doing well. I'm here with another video. In this video, we will start with the most basic English words from level A1 and gradually move up to level C2 through several videos. The videos will be published daily. Each video will be a short lesson and will be categorized. Make sure to practice each lesson well. Rest assured, by the end of this series, your vocabulary will have grown amazingly. Stay with me. The head and face. Neck. The part of the body between the head and the shoulders. He wears a scarf around his neck. Used to refer to the area supporting the head and connecting it to the body. Face. The front part of the head, including eyes, nose, and mouth. She smiled and her face lit up. Used to describe the front part of the head, used for expression and recognition. Eye. The organ used for seeing, located on the face. She has blue eyes. Used to refer to the body part responsible for vision. Nose. The part of the face used for smelling and breathing. His nose is stuffy from the cold. Used to refer to the organ responsible for the sense of smell and breathing. Ear. The organ on the side of the head used for hearing. She listens to music through her ears. Used to refer to the body part responsible for hearing sounds. Cheek. The soft, fleshy part of the face below the eyes. He kissed her on the cheek. Used to describe the sides of the face, below the eyes and between the nose and ear. Chin. The lower part of the face, below the mouth. He stroked his chin while thinking. Used to refer to the protruding part at the bottom of the face. Mouth. The opening in the face used for speaking, eating, and breathing. She opened her mouth to speak. Used to describe the part of the face involved in eating, breathing, and speaking. Tooth. One of the hard, white structures in the mouth used for biting and chewing. I need to brush my teeth. Used to refer to the individual structures used for breaking down food in the mouth. Lip. The soft, movable edges of the mouth. She applied lipstick to her lips. Used to refer to the soft tissue surrounding the mouth, used for speech and expression. Hair. Thin strands growing from the skin, especially on the head. She has long, curly hair. Used to refer to the strands growing on a person's scalp or body. Please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. By subscribing, you won't miss any of our educational content. Support me by liking the videos, sharing them with your friends, and sharing your thoughts and questions in the comments. 
Let's learn together.